On today's show, our fabulous pick of country properties puts our buyers right in the thick of it. Look at that view. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. Hay bales to wake up to in the morning looking out there. And when houses exceed expectations... <gasps> oh my goodness! Emotions soar. How is it making you feel, even before we step foot Butterflies in for this one. Yeah. I'm in Norfolk on England's east coast. I'm in Hunstanton, which the locals call Sunny Honey, which, even on a day like today, is a pretty spectacular view from this great county. And after that particularly bracing start, I can guarantee things are going to get better, starting with the price of Norfolk's detached properties, which on average sell for a little under £340,000. That's around £55,000 less than the national figure. And right now, the local estate agents are pretty busy. The property market in Norfolk currently is booming. We're certainly seeing uh, a lot more people escaping from the city, coming to these areas, looking for better quality of life and a little bit more room to explore, a little bit more space, a little bit more enjoyment of life, and certainly this area tends to provide that for people. As one of the least populated counties in England, Norfolk's residents really are spoilt with open spaces. The coast here stretches for around 90 miles and varies from rugged and unspoilt wilderness to the more lively but just as beautiful seaside resorts that have long been family favourites. I make ice cream for a living and in my opinion when the sun's shining there's nowhere better than the North Norfolk coast. Like many counties in the UK, house prices here in Norfolk vary depending on which part of the county you're searching in. Here in the north, they tend to be the highest. In fact, Burnham Market, known as Chelsea on Sea, there house prices can be, wait for it, two and a half times that of the average for the rest of the county. So on that big banknote, it's time to meet today's buyers. Ray and I met through the military. Um, I was an HGV driver, retrading to Clark, and um, I had to drive to Ray's base. He was on duty. He wouldn't let me um, onto the base. And when I pleaded with him, he said that he would if I went out with him. And our first date was at the Naffy bar. Hey, no expense spent, eh? No, there no. wasn't. Two years later, Vicky and Ray tied the knot, and during their 33 years of marriage, they've enjoyed an adventurous life together with their three now grown-up children, James, Connor and Alicia. We've lived in quite a few places in Germany, yeah. and numerous places in the UK, and we did a good spell in Ghana. So the adventure of our life is always continuing, and that we're just looking forward to this latest one and hopefully a final. Yes. Although Vicky left the army to raise their family, Ray continued to serve for 24 years. And when he left the military six years ago, they moved to the commuter town of Biggleswade in Bedfordshire. It has supermarkets, lots of restaurants and coffee shops and smaller shops. We moved here because we would utilise those amenities and because the train line into London was just 30 minutes commute for Ray. But since he's winding down his business and I no longer work, the town doesn't hold anything for us anymore. We don't use it. And the three bedroom semi-detached cottage they call home no longer suits them either. We've had to do a lot of renovation to it once we first moved in. The garden was a bit of a mess and we've done a lot of work in the garden and Ray has done a lot of DIY. What this house is lacking is space really and the ability to just walk out your front door and enjoy the countryside. 
you know, there's fast moving traffic and everything else. We can't jump on the bikes and just go. We have to get in the car to go anywhere with the dogs, really. So yeah, what we're looking for is basically the opposite of what we've currently got. Wide open spaces, the freedom to just open the back door or the front and just let the dogs out, knowing that they're safe and secure and the chickens can roam to their heart's content. A tranquil oasis. Yes. We're really country people at heart. I mean, I mean, you get that from being in the army, you live in the field half, half your middle of your life. It's not just a new house that these two are after, but a whole new lifestyle as well, potentially with some sort of income stream. We're really looking forward to new challenges. You know, yes. You know, something that we can both develop on our own. That could be pretty much anything, maybe a bed and breakfast for people wanting to visit the coast. Kennels buildings, what we can lease out. That would be great because although this will be our final move, I think we're too young to retire and do nothing. We'd like a new adventure. Now, I'm not sure I quite agree with Ray's description that this will be their final adventure. I think there's a lot to be had here in Norfolk, but we do need to find them a home to have all those adventures from. With a budget ideally at £680,000 and possibly a little bit more, Ray and Vicky are looking for a detached property in a peaceful setting for them, their son Connor, the two dogs and the chickens. It should have at least three bedrooms and they would ideally like some sort of income potential, be that from the home itself or from the land. Bearing all that in mind, we've found a selection of fantastic houses that could be the ideal setting for their dream of life in the country. And at each one, I'll ask them to guess the price before I reveal it. We'll end up with our mystery property, which brings their countryside aspirations all under one roof. Well, sort of. So beautiful Norfolk. Yeah, it certainly is. The nomads are finally settling down. Definitely. <laughs> it's yeah. about time to. Tell me about this nomadic lifestyle of yours. I was in the army for 24 years, um, during which time we moved nine, every, nine every times. Every 18 yeah. months, we, it was always, on average, we moved. You know, it was packing, unpacking. That was our life for 20 odd years. So Norfolk's going to be the place you plant some roots. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm so excited for you because Norfolk is such a gorgeous part of the world. We know what you're looking for. Any icing on the cake moments that you'd like in this particular property? Yes. Um, Ray has said about half an acre. I mean, the more acreage you could give me, okay. the better. <laughs> we are moving to the country to really be in the country. We are not scared of being isolated. Yeah, Throwing not... a stream for the dogs, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah. And what about the business that you might be starting on your move as well? Very flexible. You yeah. know, it could be holiday let. And as long as it's part-time, we don't want anything full-time. Help with the financials and just to keep us busy, really. Yeah, I mean, it's nice to retire, but it's also nice to do something. But... I know we've got some wonderful properties to show you. I'm so excited for you to see them. I'm excited now. Yeah. Shall we begin our search? Yeah, sounds good. To kick off our house hunt, we're heading to the village of North Runcton, a 25-minute drive from the popular resort of Hunstanton. Largely residential, there are a number of period properties here. In the middle of the village, a large green is overlooked by the church. The old school now serves as a community hub for the locals and a former phone box has become an art gallery. But it's at the edge of the village and down a quiet country lane where we find the first home in our lineup. So here we are, property number one. Very nice, I love the location. Very old location. windows. Yes, yeah. I love the windows, I would definitely keep those. Georgian farmhouse. Yes. yes. That's been extended as you can tell. And I noticed that's an annex. It is. It's actually quite deceptive from the view we have here. There's a huge amount of space there. That sounds fantastic. I like. Well, this is a great property, but it needs a little love. It... Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. So if you wanted to take on a bit of a project, 
this beautiful house with such lovely bones could be an amazing home. Already envisaging what I could do with it. <laughs> yeah, so far it looks spot on. Should we head in? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Dating to the 1800s, it's believed that this property was originally built as three terrace cottages. They were united to create one large family home in more recent years. Take in this magnificent space. I'm loving the flagstones already. Yeah. I love the range, the shutters as well. And what could be that beautiful morning cup of coffee yeah, view straight out onto your garden. It can be hard to really feel the warmth of the kitchen when it is so stripped bare, but can you feel the potential? Yeah, yeah I can visualise certain bits in here very easily. So far, nothing's wrong. <laughs> it's nothing's the perfect wrong. size yeah. for us. It's not too small, it's not too big. Great, let's keep going through the house. There's so much to see. Fantastic. I'm glad you like the kitchen. There are three ground floor reception rooms which have all been recently decorated and I think the largest would make a great living room. This is the real space that I wanted you to take in wow. down here. Come in and you can really feel the size of this room and this view. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Yeah, that's amazing. You know you're in that gorgeous Norfolk countryside. Yeah. There's plenty of windows, which is great. Yeah. I'm liking the shutters. Yeah. And, and the flooring as well. It's so useful. good. Easy to take care of, isn't Absolutely. it? Oh, very yeah. easy. Whilst the renovations on the ground floor are almost complete, the rooms upstairs are all at different stages of refurbishments. They come right in. Mm. Lovely size, and we've never had an ensuite before, so. That's the spot was there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although this is the main with the ensuite, I sort of have another idea that could be your bedroom. Okay. Come this way. <laughs> with a total of five bedrooms, three of which are ample doubles, they would have lots of options for sleeping arrangements when the whole family comes to stay. There's this one at the end that I really want you to see. Okay. Because this, for me, I think, would be the room that I would want to wake up in in this house. Oh, look at that view. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. Hay bales to wake up to in the morning, looking out there. The changing seasons. You almost feel outdoors in here. Yeah. yeah. It's ready to go. This house is just waiting for someone to invest a little love, a little time, yeah. a little attention. A little money? <laughs> we will talk money, we yeah, will talk money. Uh, a lot of this stuff we can do ourselves. It would depend on um, whether there was some income coming in or whether it was at that price where we had enough left over to do those repairs and improvements. Yeah, mm. that's very important because you can fall in love with somewhere, but yeah. it, the financials are yeah, important. a huge part of the decision. Providing an opportunity for business potential, the annex which adjoins the double garage could make a substantial proposition if Vicky and Ray were willing to undertake the renovations. The large garden extends to an acre in total and backs on to neighbouring fields. You wanted the outside space. Yes. Behind this sort of curated garden here, you've got a bit of a wild orchard and then at the back a bit more wild meadow. What do you think this house is on the market for? I'm gonna say, because of the work, 480. 480,000 pounds? Yeah, you wish. I'm gonna go higher than that, and I'm gonna say 530. 530,000 pounds. This property is on the market for 550,000 pounds. Okay. which is still very tidily within... It's, it's in budget. It's possible. Do you want to have another explore and I'll catch up with you in a bit? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Under budget by £130,000, this detached Georgian farmhouse provides Vicky and Ray with space, character and views, if they're prepared to roll up their sleeves. 
outside an acre of land and an annex with holiday let potential completes this property package. My first impressions of this property were wow. A little bit of work to be done, but nothing that would scare me off. This property is definitely a good start. I can see the potential. There's enough land to keep me busy for the next couple of um, years. This is a, another good size room. Yeah. Alicia can go in this room um, yeah. when she comes to visit. And then maybe Connor. Can have the one with your own suite. suite. I love this place. My own. It's only place number one. I know. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I like it still all smiles. Yes. Yeah. Still yeah. smiling, yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Love so it. a great first house. Definitely. Brilliant. Definitely. Okay. Brilliant first More house. More to see, come on. Thanks. <laughs>
our mission to find a new home for Vicky and Ray will continue first thing in the morning. Adventure lovers Vicky and Ray are looking to retire in Norfolk. However, it's not a quiet life they're after. But they are on a hunt for a home with a business opportunity included. Still to come, the Mystery House makes a real impact. I'm so excited about this place. I just want to rush home, sell the house, and come here tomorrow and just start living here. And I head to a farm that's adding spice to Norfolk life. It's delicious. Can you taste the smokiness? It's gorgeous. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Well, a great day with Vicky and Ray yesterday. Today, though, two more fabulous options to show them. The Mystery House has options and options and options for days. There are so many possibilities with the Mystery House. And before we even get to that, I have a gorgeous Georgian offering for them that comes with an acre or two to boot. To maximise Vicky and Ray's budget, we're moving away from Norfolk's coast and heading for the Cambridgeshire village of Wisbeach St Mary, which is a good hour's drive from their favourite seaside destinations. It's a quiet but picturesque village overlooking the Fens and still has a local pub, which should be a great way to make friends in the community. Our next property enjoys a peaceful edge of village location. Oh wow, wisteria up the front. <laughs> the look of that house is my ultimate dream. Like I said, the wisteria, the double frontage, I love it. I Ray? Love it. I'm liking, I am liking. It's got very good character. How is it making you feel, even before we step foot Butterflies in Butterflies for this one. Yeah. Would you like to get in there? I'd love to. <laughs> <laughs> Come this way. This handsome Georgian property was built around 200 years ago. We're entering around the side by a more recent addition. So come into our first room in the house. Love that Georgian sensibility. Everything has a purpose. Beautiful. Yeah, really great. It's a very inviting house, I think. It's got lovely windows and lights coming yeah. through from both sides. Windows are beautiful. Shall we head into the heart of the home, the kitchen? Okay. Okay. Here we are. Your oh, lovely nice. country kitchen. Yeah. Very cosy. Very cosy indeed. Mm. I love this. I love everything about it. This is our sort of thing. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a big, expansive kitchen. You know, it's, 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 it's very much over a sort of size. Yeah. And then cast your eye this way. You have a utility room, huge space. So if the dogs are in and out, they're not having to bring any. Model. Yes, very, very low maintenance floors, very easily done. Yes, excellent. At the front of the house, there are two further reception rooms. Come through in, you can really take this all in. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm very happy, yeah. You can't want for anything in this room, can you? Very thought-provoking. Tell me, what are you thinking? It's, it's just how we would just sort of move in and... Yeah, how we would the use the just yeah, rooms. It would flow. It's good. Great, I'm liking it. We're walking through how our lives could be yeah, here. Yeah. I'm glad you're liking the downstairs space. Yum. The upstairs is very special too. A few interesting secret moments up there maybe. So if I'll let you go and explore that. Okay. And so let's catch up. Thanks. Because we still have the gardens to go through, so. <laughs> Thank you. With six bedrooms upstairs, this property goes beyond Ray and Vicky's wish list. Each one is packed with character features. The large main bedroom has its own ensuite. Oh, this is interesting. And two of the smaller rooms are interconnected. Almost like a little living room off the mm. bedroom, isn't yeah. it? You could make this really cosy. Ball hall. TV, PC, settee, yeah. bedroom. Bed. Yeah. Perhaps and this could be for corner. corner then. You know that feeling when you get the feeling? I think they've got it in this house. <gasps> oh my goodness! What? 
This is... Yeah, breathtaking. <laughs> yes, it is. I don't know what to say, that look. Yeah. Oh, I can see myself in that bath with the log burner right there. This is lovely. I can really sense that they, they like the house itself. It feels as if it's a house that just keeps on giving. And yet, wait till they see the outside space. It's so special. I think that could be the icing on this beautiful cake. There's an incredible two and a half acres on offer with this property, which include large paddocks, a well-established walled garden, and a substantial kitchen garden too. Within the plot, there's also an old coach house, given over for storage right now, but subject to permission, prime for conversion. So the house feels pretty special. Very. Yes, indeed, yeah. And I know you were thinking about that business option. So you've got that beautiful coach house, which could be somewhere that you turn into a place to let, maybe people yeah. are coming on holiday, yeah. or it could be this beautiful space, which comes with planning permission. Oh, OK. Really? For a four-bed dwelling. No wow. way. Yeah. It's huge. Enough for you? <laughs> yes. yes. What do you think it's on the market for? Well, I think it's on the button. £680,000. I think 700 This property and all the land that comes with it is on the market for offers over £675,000. Oh, OK. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is um, extremely tempting. Take it all in again, because there is so much to see. And then start thinking about those numbers. Okay. Right. And I'll catch up with you in a moment or two. OK. Thanks. Cheers. Thanks. Under budget by £5,000, this rural period property is a grand proposition, both inside and out as well as an attractive, well-maintained home set in beautiful grounds. There's so much scope here for Ray and Vicky's holiday let ambitions. It's just amazing. Yeah. It has everything that we could want, everything that we could need. It's got all this land. The house is amazing. It's going to push us to the edge if we go for an offer, but it's... I'd be disappointed not to be showing this house. Yes, yeah. You've had another good look round? Yes. Yeah. OK, well, we've still got the mystery house to look at. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on. Our house hunters have a budget of £680,000 to spend on their new Norfolk home. But across the county, there are rural properties on the market that come in all shapes and sizes, with a range of price tags. For £340,000, this semi-detached character cottage with three bedrooms and a lovely courtyard garden enjoys rural views from its quiet location in the popular village of Sedgeford. On the rental market, this one-bed dwelling in a converted farm building can be leased for £550 a month. It has its own garden and is also surrounded by mature orchards. And for anyone looking to get on board with coastal living, this quirky holiday let sleeps up to six people and has been converted from a 142-year-old boat. Three night stays here range from 580 to 800 pounds, depending on the time of year. For the final stop on our house hunting tour of Norfolk, we're heading to the small village of West Bilney. This rural pocket is a walker's paradise with lots of dedicated routes to explore the outlying countryside. There are just a handful of homes here and a local church which is thought to date back to Norman times. 
So we've come to West Filney. It's home to the Mystery House. And according to local folklore, it was also once home to the King of the Norfolk Poachers. Oh, wow. Whose mark is said to be left on the Mystery House. Very interesting. Yeah. Yes. So while you take in the beauty of the area, I'm going to go and get the Mystery House ready for you mm -hmm. and we'll catch up in a few moments. Fantastic. Excellent. Architecturally, our final property is really quite something, with so many quirky features and intriguing nooks and crannies. But the mysteries of this house are not confined to the bricks and mortar. They said they wanted outdoor space. How about your own woodland with a stream at the bottom of the garden? Ten acres enough? Hope they love it. This property is the most rural we've viewed all week, and I trust that the tranquility here will appeal. I can hear them. I think they're excited already. <laughs> Come on then. <laughs> is that all right for your little stream potential? Oh, I think you just about hit the mark there. That woodland, that comes with the property. Welcome to the mystery house. Wow. OK. Yeah, wow. Wow. You wanted space, Vicky. Yeah. yeah. There are ten acres here. No! Ten! I'm so excited <laughs> right now. My mind is blown. Would you like to explore the mystery house? Can't oh, wait. Yes. Originally built as a single-storey lodge within the grounds of an old country estate, the oldest part of this property dates back to the 1800s. But in the 1970s, a two-storey extension was added, with bedrooms on the ground floor and a living room upstairs, which is where we're starting our tour. Come on up. Little elevated living. That's quite a view of your garden and potentially what could be your wood as well. Yeah, it's amazing watching the wildlife, maybe watching the dogs run around the garden into that stream and out again. Just, yeah, stunning. Just big smiles from both yeah. of you. Definitely, definitely. Is the inside so far feeling as good as the outside yes. made you feel? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Very welcoming. Would you like to see more? Yes. OK. Before we take in the bedrooms in the ground floor extension, we're heading into the older single storey lodge where we find the kitchen. Now, with the hatch here going through to the dining room, I was imagining could be one of your options for letting the property. And then this becomes a B&B. &B. You've got a living room there, a bedroom for your guests and a shower room. You can lock that all yeah. off and then provide a B&B &B service. So straight away, you could be up and running. Fantastic. It's all just stunning. Um, it's exactly what we dreamed of, really. What I've seen so far is just amazing. Why didn't you explore the rest of the property? See how you could imagine living in this space and how you might begin to start having guests here. Okay. Now I'll come and pick out a bedroom later oh, okay. <laughs> for my first visit. <laughs> really excited they can see the full potential of what the mystery house offers them so happy for them she just said she loves it <laughs> the layout of this house could really work as a B&B with one half of the property as their private residence and the other half with dining room snug and ensuite bedroom for their potential guests wow Oh, this is perfect for a yeah. self-contained annex yeah, yeah. for a paying guest. They can even do their washing while they're here. Awesome. Yeah. This is good. Let's see what more we can see. I think they can really see the full potential here. I'm really so excited for them. Oh, wow. Oh, this is good. Oh, this would definitely work. Yeah. Who wouldn't want to come and stay here? This could actually be a reality i love i love everything about this Great house. potential opportunities yeah i'm so excited about this place i just want to rush home sell the house and come here tomorrow and just start living here what we're waiting for 
That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Let's just get it sold. <laughs> As a whole, the house has five bedrooms. If one was allocated for guests, it will leave our couple with four for their family. One of the four is in the old lodge, now in use as a home gym. Then back in the newer wing are a further three rooms, one a study and two comfortable doubles. Hi. Hi. <laughs> amazing thank oh, you great thank you. I'm so happy well if you think the house is amazing wait till you see the land are you ready to explore a wood oh, yeah. your yeah. wood potentially fantastic <laughs> a large lawn with mature shrubs surrounds the property and there is also a small orchard and fruit cages close to the house oh look at that but most of the 10 acres here consists of woodland. I love this clearing. What do you think? It's stunning, isn't yeah, it? It's, it's very beautiful. mystical with a circle of trees. Yeah. What do you think the mystery house is on the market for? I'm going to plead £680,000. £680,000. I think I'm going to go 700000 This mystery house is on the market for £695,000. OK. OK. That's a possibility. Yeah. Take it all in. Have a think. We will. Thank you. At £695,000, this characterful mystery house with 10 acres is a very special proposition. Five bedrooms and a flexible layout present viable options for Vicky and Ray's plan to run a business from a very unique home in a very tranquil setting. Margarita has definitely blown it out of the water. Um, this is just fantastic. Top marks. Yeah. 12 out of 10. <laughs> this is the house for us. The dogs would love it here. They would. They'd be off chasing all sorts around oh, here, no. getting lost. Was... Future plans? <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely. Should we find somewhere for a couple in a chat? Because you've seen all the houses now. Yeah. Lots of planning to be done, I think. Let's yeah. make those plans, eh? Farming has been an important part of Norfolk's economy for centuries. And over the years, the crops grown here have varied a great deal. I've come to meet botanist Dr Sally Francis, who for the last 23 years has been cultivating something very special. The spice, saffron, which comes from the bulb Crocus sativus. Sally, it's so lovely to see you, even on a rather blustery day like this. I'm sorry, the weather isn't nicer. <laughs> Tell me about this amazing crop that is actually just about to come through behind us. So this, this is my saffron field, and this is the very earliest stage of the, the start of harvest, so there's not an awful lot to see yet because the leaves are just tiny, tiny short little leaves, and we've got a few flowers through, even in spite of the weather. And I believe five is a very special number in the saffron world. You have five weeks to pick your crop. Yes, we harvest every day through those five weeks. So when we go on the field in the morning, we take the flowers that are ready. And when you do that, you're, you're kind of deadheading like you would be in a garden and you're encouraging more flowers the whole time. So the next day, there'll be more flowers if the weather's kind, and the next day, more and more. And it builds up. So over the five weeks, we get a peak of flowers where we're really, really busy and then it tails back off again. I've been told saffron's worth its weight in gold. Is that true? It is expensive. Um, but that's a function of how much hand labour goes into it. There's, there's no way of mechanising any part of the saffron harvest or, or processing method. But with really good saffron, it just goes such a long way that's actually not as expensive as you think. Would you like to try some? I would love to. <laughs> I've got a saffron risotto on the go. We'll go and warm oh, up. That is music rain. to my ears today. Excellent. <laughs> 
Saffron strands are removed from the centre of the flower and are left to dry before they're used for cooking, be that sweet or savoury dishes. Sally's top tip to maximise the flavour is to add hot liquid to a few gently crushed strands. This allows the delicate spice to fully develop before it's added to the rest of the ingredients. So Sally, what have we got here? It's a saffron risotto made with oak smoked Norfolk saffron. Oak smoked? Yeah, it's a special thing that we make here at Norfolk Saffron. Oh, I can't, OK, I can't wait to dig into this. Oh, it's delicious. Can you taste the smokiness? It's gorgeous, Good. yeah. <laughs> and on a day like today, I can think of nothing better. It's just what's needed, isn't it? Beautiful saffron warming me up on a chilly day, but beautiful in Norfolk. <laughs> Well, what an amazing week it's been. I wonder what they've made of it all. Let's find out. Hi. Hi. How are you feeling? In love. In love with the mystery house. It was amazing. Mm. I never thought that for one moment you would find us the perfect place, the place where I would say, yep, I, I want to move here tomorrow. I want to leave where we are, but I'm ready to go. I'm ready to move in. Mm. I know you've said this was going to be the final move, the final mm. adventure. When I look at the mystery house and you, it feels like you're going to have an adventure in this house. It's a story I wouldn't even consider yeah, taken up with the proximity of that holiday let possibility within that same sort of footprint and the actual space beyond that within the trees and where people could come in and camp. What happens next? We go home, we look seriously again at our finances, see what we can scrape together, see if we can sell our house as soon as possible. Mm. And hopefully we'll be in time to snap the mystery house up. Well, I have everything crossed for you. Here's hoping that mystery house is yours before too long. Here, here. So do we. Well, it really has been a fantastic few days house hunting here in Norfolk with Vicky and Ray. Have we finally found the nomads somewhere to put down their roots? I think we might have. Ray said he wanted Norfolk to be their final adventure. And if they can secure the mystery house, what a fantastic final adventure that would be. I'll see you next time on Escape to the Country. Vicky and Ray did place an offer on the mystery house but sadly for them, they were outbid. So their search for a beautiful home in Norfolk continues. If you would like to escape to the country in Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales or England and need our help, you can apply online at bbc.co.uk forward slash take part.